Next, I'm going to talk about the biblical meaning of a brother. This is the Aleph, the first letter of the alphabet. It's an ox head. It represents strength. They used to put the plow on the ox. The ox would pull the plow. They'd latch it up with another one. They would plow fields. So the strongest animal that they had is an ox. So it represents strength. This is called the hit. It's actually a section of a fence. You can kind of see it. So literally it means strong fence. That's the word for brother. Ak, that's how you say it. Now, think about if you were going to put up, anybody ever put up a fence here? A couple people? If you were just going to put up a section of a fence, right, anchored into the ground, only that section is going to be really rooted and strong. If someone was going to attack the homestead and they come up to an eight-foot section of fence, are they going to try to knock it down or are they just going to go around it? Because it's just in my way. But if you link up with another brother, now you start sharing the load that's coming at you. And eventually you form a perimeter around the homestead. And this strong fence will provide protection for everyone that's within the homestead where the house is. And that's a biblical definition of a brother. And if we look in Proverbs, a friend loves at all the time, but a brother is born for adversity. Brothers are supposed to link arms and provide protection that's away from the homestead. You know, linked arms, sharing the load. And two, I mean, I tried to count in here. There's probably, what, maybe 11 men in here, mostly women. Where's the brotherhood at anymore? You know, this world, you're going to see that this world is corrupt because men don't know how to be men anymore. They know how to be a man, you know, how to be boys, but not a biblical definition. Most men will leave people hanging. I remember when I was little, somebody would break down on the side of the road, there'd be five people stopped to help that person out. Now they just drive by and look, you know. So in the spiritual, sometimes we need to lock arms. If one person is getting hit hard and that section of fence is getting ready to knock down, the other ones need to share some of the load and keep that one supported. That's a biblical definition of a brother. There's another verse... 1 John 3.16, not John 3.16, but it almost has the same kind of a thing. By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us as we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. Isn't it odd that 3.16, both of them talk about laying down your life for love? So he's telling you, we, the example that our Messiah gave us we are to be willing to do that for our brothers. To be willing to take the blows to keep somebody standing. So, if we think about that, are we providing that role as a brother? Are we fulfilling the role as a son and a brother? Sometimes you don't have, naturally, you can be an only child and you won't have a physical brother. But, you know, men like that join the army, and then what do they call the people in their platoon? Their brothers. Because they go to battle together.